Hey everybody, welcome to our chest and back workout. We're just going to warm up, and all I want to do is just march in place, okay? As we go through the exercises, we may modify or change a few things out based on people's abilities. We'll point that out as we keep going. Marching in place. Everybody keeping time with me? Perfectly. Nice. Get your knees up. You can rotate your hips, loosen up your arms. The whole point is changing this up. Make sure during every one of our exercises, even the warm-ups, you breathe. Make sure you breathe. I want to engage your core. We'll talk about that when we get to some of the exercises. When you're doing a pull-up in this routine, as you're coming up, I want you to exhale. Take a deep breath in on the way down. Same thing with a push-up. As you're pushing up, we're all mic'd. I want to hear that while we're doing it. Okay, let's jog in place. Steve has a bad knee, and we're going to show he's going to modify jumping jacks a little bit. He's going to keep his, his knees a little bit lower as he's jogging so he doesn't tweak that a little bit. Now, Laura is about to celebrate her 50th birthday yep. in a couple months. You look like that when you're going to be 50. <laughs> if not, get off the couch. You can. Eric, I need to talk to my producers. They put a 23-year-old trainer into the routine with us. I knew I was slacking. He's going to push us through this whole routine. Steve, 46. Excellent. Started doing some of these kind of lifts about a year, year and a half ago. Yes. Seen a big difference? Oh, a huge oh, difference. Fantastic. It's great. How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. I'm in my 40s. Yeah. Let's just say that. I'm 42. Okay, great. Now we're going to do some jumping jacks. Watch how Steve does his jumping jacks. He's going to do a modified version and take it easy on his knees. Everybody ready? And up. Good. Jumping jacks can be funky on your knees or your ankles. So Steve's just making it a lower impact exercise. I like jumping jacks because Get your arms engaged. Get that blood pumping through your muscles before we stretch them out, especially if you're doing it early in the morning. Now, I know the first time you try to do a jumping jack at 6 o'clock in the morning, you think to yourself, what am I doing? But after a few seconds, it's all good. All warmed up. My calves are even hurting. This isn't a calf workout. What are we doing? OK, good. Settle that out. All right, now we're going to get some stretches. Very good, everybody. Put your feet together. Put your right hand down to your side. Take your left arm up and kick that left hip out with it. Keep your hands and your arms straight and look right up through your elbows to the ceiling. That's the key part of this. Settle in your breathing now. Some of us can kick our hips out a little bit farther than others. You know, you're the first person that's asked me how old I was. That was very good. I had to think for a minute. <laughs> Quick some math. Okay, right arm up. Left hand hang down. Just let your hand literally dangle free. Kick that right hip out. Everybody feel that right down through here? Mm -hmm. Well done. Perfect form, everybody. Nice job. I'm going to have you try to straighten your arm a little bit more. There you go. OK, good. Now let both arms single down. Put your feet together. Push-ups and pull-ups. Use your neck a lot. Important to keep it relaxed. We're going to stretch it out a little bit here, too. Everybody take a deep breath. Exhale. Trap your chin to your chest and just let it hang there. I got a pumpkin sized noggin, so gravity really helps me stretch here. Okay, now take a deep breath, exhale. Roll that right ear over the right shoulder. Very good. One more breath. Exhale. Roll the left ear over the left shoulder. Mm. Now I got a bulging disc in my right side of my neck here. I've had that for about 10 years, and it's not preventing me from doing any exercises. You just work through it, and breathing is a big part of that. If I'm straining and holding my breath, that tends to uh, make that area of my body hurt, so I don't do that. It's also kind of a good stress meter. Okay, one more breath. In, exhale, chest in the middle, or head down to the chin to the chest. 
Okay, good. Shake it out and come back up. Now, stand. I'm going to stand sideways so you can see what we're going to do here. One foot slightly in front of the other. The reason we do that when these kind of exercises, when we have our arms and things out, is to take the pressure off our lower back, okay? So I just want you to put your palms up like this and try to reach towards the back wall. Remember breathing again. Lauren, why don't you keep your chin down a little bit, all right? And the reason I wanted to do that is that can sometimes be tough on the neck. Exhale, very good, very good. Now you can see Eric's pretty flexible over there. His hands are definitely behind his shoulders. Steve, we're going to work on flexibility with him over the next couple months. I want eventually to get his arms a little bit farther back and get more of a stretch in here. Bigger guys sometimes aren't that flexible. Okay, now I'm going to take a deep breath. Exhale, come back down, and try to put those palms up to the ceiling. Oh, cracking again over there, Laura. Oh, that's so good. And keep your head kind of aligned with your back so there, there's a straight line there. Very good. Laura's perfect straight line up and down. Same thing with Eric. Good. Nice job, Steve. A little more flexibility in this direction. That's good to see. Let me get there with you guys. One more deep breath. And exhale. Come back down. Hit this. We're going to hit the chest again. Palms up in the air. Try to pull your thumbs to the back wall if you can. Oh, this is a good stretch. At home, you want to hold these stretches on average about 20 seconds. If you can do 30, that's great. 20 is about the minimum you want to go. Very good. Okay, let your arms dangle down again. We're going to stretch our shoulders out because the shoulder is kind of the main connection point here. Left arm straight out in front of you. Take your right arm, grab it right at the elbow, and just pull it in, okay? And just call it a shoulder chin tuck. Eric, I want you to try to get your arm up a little bit higher. There you go. Good job, Steve. Feel that pull all the way through your shoulder. So that joint's nice and loose when we're doing push-ups and pull-ups. Very good. Okay, let that arm dangle down. Right arm straight out in front of you. And pull. I actually need this today. A little tightness in the back of that shoulder. We're going to work that out, though. Everybody feel that pull? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right up behind those shoulder blades. Mm, fantastic. Very good. Get those arms hang down. One last exercise here. I want you to take your hands, put them together like this in front of you. I want you to round out your back and feel those shoulders pull. Just round it out, accentuate that a little bit. It's kind of like Igor. You know the guy that helped Franken Dr. Frankenstein, right? Igor. I'm dangerous with a microphone. I really am. You feel that pull? Round it out. Good job, everybody. Good. Okay, now we're going to kind of do the opposite of that. I want you to put your hands together up high. See if you can touch your palms, and then I want you to stand up straight and just push that down like this and feel that chest expand. I usually feel a whole lot of cracking when I do this. I want you to see if you can straighten your arms a little bit more. That perfect. Now you got it. Now you got it. Feel the difference? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. How's that feel? Good. All right. Now shake it out. Let's just shake our arms out. Give ourselves some hugs. And just loosen everything up. Everybody ready? Because we're gonna get started. It's gonna be so much fun. So much fun. Now as you're doing this, I want your back perfectly straight. Again, this is an advanced workout. I expect I'm going to go this direction for you. Okay, well, I expect these folks to be able to be able to do this pretty good. Laura will go to her knees if she wants to, so will Steve. Everybody ready? Now, there's a lot of push-ups and pull-ups in this routine. Don't gas yourself. If you normally do 25, kind of stick to 20. If you normally do 10, maybe do 7 or 8, all right, and pace yourself through this workout. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at Laura cranking them on over there. Nine, ten, eleven. Good job, Steve. Eric, freaking chisel man over there. That's my my goal is to get him to laugh, so he can't do as many. Remember, good job, Laura. Don't gas yourself. If you don't want to in this first set. You're doing great. Very impressive. Very impressive, Eric. Like a statue. That's excellent form. Steve dropped to his knees. Get a few more reps out. Good job, Laura. That's fine. Don't goose yourself. You're scaring me over there, girl. That's a lot of push-ups. Almost 50 years old. 
Look at that. She's still going. Oh my oh, gosh. I thought we were done. Oh my gosh. You stop when you're tell ready. Me, tell me when you're we're done. You stop when you're ready. Okay. Now, we're going to start with the basic pull up first. Now, we're going to show you guys some different variations. I'm going to have Laura use the bands, okay? Now, if you're at home, she's going to measure how intense it is by how far she backs up. The farther she goes, the more tension in the ropes. And she's going to do a standard pull up just like this. We're going to use the bars. And I'm going to show you how Steve's going to use the chair in a little bit, all right? Excellent. I'm going to start off as well. Remember, if you can do 10 of these, this first set, maybe you want to do seven or eight. Here we go. Everybody ready? And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to go over and show you something what Steve's doing. Now, Eric is doing an absolutely perfect pull-up. What Steve's done, you can do this at home. You have a little chair sitting in front of you. He's got his foot up on the chair. Jeremy's got that captured. He's not pushing the chair out like this. He's simply pushing straight up, using his leg to assist him. This is beautiful. Later on, we're gonna have Laura try this. First set, feeling good, huh? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. Feel free to do that if you want to. Little mini breaks here, good to do. Okay, now our next exercise is called a diamond push-up. This may be challenging for Laura to do. This is a tricep intensive exercise. If you don't have bigger arms, this might be challenging. So she may modify this and just do kind of a military push-up. Just put her hands a little bit closer together and use her knees if you want to, okay? I'm gonna show you this. Jeremy's got me right here. Will's got me up front. No need to use the bars in this one. Put your hands like this, like a diamond and you simply want to <coughs> bring it down to your chest and push it up like this. This is a hard exercise. Everybody ready? Kind of pace yourself. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You quit when you want to. Don't wait for me. Good job, Eric. Perfect form. Eric's got his feet just a little bit spaced apart. That's excellent. It gives you a little balance. Steve dropped to his knees. Now, Steve, I don't want you to reach your chin to the floor, okay? Keep your head up a little bit if you want to. Better. Good job, everybody. How'd that feel? Good. I'm tired already. Here we go. Okay. Before this last pull-up, so we did our palms facing out. We're going to make them make face inward, same width. Now, then a regular pull-up. That's exactly right. Laura's going to turn her palms upward and keep her elbows kind of tucked to her side as she does these. Everybody ready? Here we go. Everybody's doing? Steve's got the chair. Eric, where's Jeremy? Jeremy, get a shot of this. That is a perfect, perfect chin-up. He's going all the way down. Make sure you breathe at the top, Eric, for me, all right? Breathe. Good man. Laura, perfect form. See how she's got her, her back is completely straight here like this. One knee up, that is excellent form. Are you feeling those? Uh -huh. Absolutely. Good job, how many did you get? Yeah, about 15. That's fantastic, 15. 10 with the chair. So normally we'd have been able to do five. Throw that chair in there, big difference. Okay, huge, huge difference, that's what he said. Okay, another challenging push-up again. This is an advanced routine, not for the faint of heart. This is called an under the fence push-up. Some people call them dive bombers, they call them under the fence. I'm gonna do this sideways. So Will can get an idea of what's going on. Hi, Jeremy. Okay, I want you to put your feet a little bit wider apart, a little wider than your shoulders, hands a little wider than your shoulders as well. I'm gonna demonstrate one first, okay? The objective is like a kid or like your dog, digging under a fence. Take your head, get it under the fence first, then your shoulders and pull it all the way back out. Laura's gonna put a towel on her knees and she's gonna do this from her knees. Everybody ready? Here we go. And one. And remember, pace yourself. Don't gas yourself in these first few sets. Back up. Flip forward on your toes or your knees like Laura's doing. Excellent. Look at Eric. Look at the slowness with which he's doing that. That is crazy good form. 23 years old and getting younger. Good job, Laura. Well done. It's harder, a little bit harder to do it from your knees. You've really got to accentuate your form. Look at that. She's bringing it right back out. 
Look at her come right back up like that. Very good job, you guys. Excellent work, excellent work. Now, remember, pace yourself. How's that feel? Great thing about that exercise, you work that whole part of your chest and even your shoulders. Wide grip, okay? You want your hands out wider. This is challenging in the bands. When I'm out, Laura doing the bands, and Jeremy's behind me. You can actually catch my back from this, Jeremy. That's a good angle. She's gonna keep her elbows up and pull them out. It's challenging in the bands. They're gonna tend to wanna come in. That's why wide grip is more challenging. Pull it out like that, okay? Pull them down. Everybody ready? Here we go, wide grip pull up. Remember, pace yourself a little bit in these ones. Here we go, and one. Good job. Excellent, Laura, that is perfect form. Hands coming out wide, elbows up, excellent. Steve using the chair again. Eric, knocking out perfect pull-ups. Now, you can do this at your own pace. Eric, I'd like you to go maybe a little faster on that next set, okay. get your chin a little higher. Okay. Go a full range of motion. Folks, next push-up, incline push-up. We do regular push-ups, different widths, which kind of hits different parts of our chest this direction. Incline push-up works the upper part of your chest, okay? It's important to hit that big muscle up there. A lot of people don't do this exercise. Incline push-up. Now, if they're gonna use chairs, let's say I don't have a chair. I'm gonna show you how you do this at home. I'm gonna show everybody how to do this first with a chair, okay? Demonstration. Get kind of close to the chair and make sure you get a chair that's pretty stable. I want you to put yourself almost like you're ready to run. One foot up first, scoot your arms a little bit further, then get the other foot up. You want your hands not out here, underneath your shoulders. Pull that belly button in, come down, keep everything straight. That's an incline push-up. Everybody got, Steve, I want you to scoot back a little bit so your toes are straight up. Excellent, scoot back a little bit so you're more comfortable so you don't feel like you're leaning forward, excellent. And I'm gonna come over here. If you just have some steps in your house, you can just use some steps. So we just happen to have some steps right here. Isn't that awesome? Everybody ready? Have at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, Good job, everybody. Now, you can also use your push-up bars if you want to for that. Get a little more range of motion. How's everybody feeling? That's hard. Good. That's hard, right? That's yeah. That's a good one. Take a deep breath. Try That's all right. We're, we're pushing pretty fast here. Okay, now, we're going to go to a narrow grip chin-up, um, chin okay? We had our palms facing outward in the wide grips. I like to alternate that. We're going to put our hands like this and do a chin-up. And typically, where you line your hands, just imagine a space like this where your thumbs don't get really much closer together than that. Just flip your hands around. Narrow grip, chin up, okay? Very good, guys, excellent. Laura's got that down, everybody, and begin. Steve, nice job. Eric, good job. Laura, that's perfect form. Good job. Maybe get your hands up a little bit higher. There you go. Excellent. And that kind of simulates where your hands would be in a pull-up. Up a little bit higher. Very good. Everybody feeling it? Yeah. It's okay. Everybody's got a chair. Okay. We're going to do chair dips. You want to do a regular dip with me, Eric? Okay. If you're at a gym and you have a dip rack, you can use a dip rack. Otherwise, you just use a chair at home. I'm going to show you how to do this. In fact, Jeremy, I got you right here with me. Sit on the chair, make sure it's a stable chair, your feet in front of you, and come down and kind of get your butt on the floor. If that's too difficult, you slide your feet a little closer. Just a little closer, you can use your legs a little more. That's easier, okay? To make it more difficult, slide it out, put one foot up, get another chair, and put your feet on another chair. That changes the intensity of the exercise. So again, as you do this video for months on end, you can make variations. Everybody ready? I'm actually gonna use a dip rack like Eric and show you what that looks like. Everybody ready? Remember, don't gas yourself in this exercise. Max reps where you feel comfortable as you can get through another set. Here we go. Everybody, go. One, two, three. I got the 23-year-old wonder boy over there. Kicking my butt. almost 50-year-old lady. I don't even want to talk about you, Laura. 
You're intimidating me. Good job, Eric. Steve, well done. Now, one more set of pull-ups. We're gonna take a big old break. We did narrow grip this direction, palms facing us. Flip it around, put your thumbs together, palms facing out. Got that lower on the bands? Palms facing out. Concentrate on keeping your hands a little bit more towards your neck up here. Excellent, everybody. Oh, we're breathing hard and we're gonna go right at it. Here we go. How's everybody doing? Good, Steve's adjusting that chair. Nice job. Now, are you feeling gas? That's when you hang it up. Very good, Steve. We'll slide that chair a little bit forward for you. Let's lift out. How are you feeling? Good? Yeah. Everybody? Big old break. Laura, nice job. Ready for a break? Now, for you folks starting this workout for the first time, stop there. Don't be afraid to do that. That's hardcore, okay? Five sets of those, that's a good workout for the day. We're almost a half an hour into this thing. If you feel you got more left, we're going to run through that with the different variation of some of these exercises. Again, heart rate's up. Excellent. You ever done anything like this before? Not like this. Not like this, no. Keep moving, everybody. Shake your arms out a little bit. Don't want to stand around. We're going to hit this all again. You guys are all up for it, too, aren't you? Oh, yeah. yeah oh now, yeah. do you want to try a pull-up? Yeah. I'm going to have you two switch sure. for this set, okay? Um, what are we doing first? We're doing side-to-side -side push-ups. So let's do our push-ups, and then have you guys switch. And have, I mean, have Steve try the bands. We've got a couple different sets of bands up here. We can add some more resistance. And Laura's going to try that chair. Okay, ready to get back into it? I'm going to demonstrate this. I'm actually going to face Will as I do this. And Jeremy's got me from the side. I want you to keep your knees or your feet a little bit wider than you normally would in a regular push-up, okay? Just to give yourself some stability. Come all the way up. And then when you're up, simply reach your arm out to the side and come back down into a wider push-up. Then come back up and go to the other side. We got that. I'll turn around here so Jeremy can see that. We're up. Feet are a little wider. Just put that hand out. Come down like this, and then down like this. Everybody got that? Now, try to touch your chest to the ground if you can. That's hard. If you do a few less reps, that's okay. Chin up in the air. I want you looking in front of you and see if you can touch that chest. That, perfect, Laura. Now you've nailed it. Excellent. Up and keep going, everybody. One, two, three, four. Until you feel gassed, don't go all the way. Maybe stay two reps shy, because this is a long workout. So you're doing Laura, that's perfect form. That's better than your first set. You got your chin up, and you're going all the way down. Steve, nice job. Steve's doing it from his knees as well. If we can catch that. Eric, excellent form. Okay, now, your choice pull-ups. So, if you want to switch places, do whichever pull-up you like the best. Obviously, I'm not going to do wide grip because I hate that. Steve, are you watching how to use the bands there? You can grab two of those ropes at one time. Okay. And I'm going to go over and help Laura with the chair. And the important thing, don't push out, push up, okay? Everybody ready? Begin. And breathe out at the top. How's that feel, Laura? It's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah much easier than you would think. Great. i got to get over here and do some with you guys because that's how it works. <sighs> Good job. Steve, I want you to scoot back a little bit farther, about three feet back. Perfect. Now get one knee up. How does that feel? Harder. Make it harder. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why did he tell me to do that? Hey, Jeremy, get over. I'm going to do a one-arm pull-up. No, I'm just kidding. Another push-up exercise. Jeremy, you're good right there. I'm going to do this facing one. Jeremy can see how my hand position is a little different. It's called the front-to-back push-up. And again, it's all about variety, mixing it up so you don't do the same exercise. I want your hands, and you can do this from your knees if you want to, in a different place. I want you to do half of what you're normally doing a set with your hand forward, left hand forward, and then switch with your right hand forward. This is going to feel awkward, okay? It's supposed to. Everybody ready? I'm going to put my right hand first. Doesn't matter. Here we go. One, oh, two, three, four. Excellent. Good job, Steve. Laura, excellent job. 
Now, if they want to make it harder, can they also do a plyometric and switch back and forth? Absolutely. Why don't you demonstrate that, Mr. Fantastic? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Look at him back there. That's 23 years right there. <laughs> Laura's like, I'm not doing that. I've had enough of that exercise. Do you guys feel a difference in that? Yeah. You isolate one of your pectorals, right? It's almost a little bit of an incline and a decline in the same exercise. Yeah, that's great. It's an inline. And now we're going to do another challenging routine. Now, you want to try this with the pull-up bar again? Sure. Come on. Oh, sure. What's the hesitation? Hop over here. I'm going to demonstrate this for everybody first, OK? A chair might be very important in this exercise. I want you to do a normal grip pull-up, OK? So arm shoulder width apart, palms facing arm. When you get to the top, isolating the muscle sometimes in an exercise, holding it is very good. I want you to try to go to the side and to the side, to the middle, and then back down, OK? Chair is important. Make sure you push up and not out. You do the same thing with the bands, okay? Let's see how you do over there. Mr. Huge. All right. Very good, Laura. Look at her. Knocking him out already. Up, side, side, and down. Up, side, side, and down. Up, side, side, and down. Up, side, side. You're going to be able to do less of these. Because these are hard. Side, side, and down. Up, side, side, and down. How are we doing? Laura, that is fantastic form. Steve, good job. This is harder with the bands. So he's really got to try to ex accentuate that. It is difficult, isn't it? Now, what he's doing in this exercise, he's holding those bands down here at the greatest resistance point in the band, OK? Bands are fantastic. You get resistance all the way up and down. And holding them here, hard. If you don't think you can get a good workout with bands, mistaken, right? Great exercise tool. They're a great alternative. Great alternative. OK, we're going to go back to the diamond push-ups. OK, this emphasizes a little bit more of the triceps again. Laura's going to modify that and do a military. She's going to keep her hands right here. Make sure your elbows touch your rib cage when you come up, OK? Everybody ready? Touch your chest, remember. Very important in this exercise. And down. Everybody breathing good? Yeah. Very good. I couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's very hard. I couldn't modify it on my knees. It's a little harder on the knees, but. Remember, use a towel if you want your knees for that, OK? Everybody get a sip of water. It's like a mini break. That's a tough exercise. OK, that last pull up we did, our palms were facing which way? Forward, weren't they? We're going to flip in this direction. I can't even talk anymore. Again, this far apart to flip in this way. OK, narrow grip, chin up. You can use the bands again. Heart rates are up, aren't they? Oh, yeah. That's the purpose. That is the purpose. Here we go. Now, you're feeling gassed here. Quantity is not important. Good form is. So if you're doing less reps, it's OK. You're supposed to. You're supposed to in the second half of workout not be able to do what you did before. Try to get good quality reps. See, by talking, another 10 second break. Here we go, everybody up. Good job, Eric. Well done. How's everybody feeling? Tired. Oh, you're gonna feel this tomorrow, aren't you? OK, we're going to do an under the fence push up again, right? While our heart rate's up, we're going to hit this right away. Towel off if you need to. Or it's going to the towel underneath your knees. It's good. Yeah. Steve's going to do the same thing. Excellent. A little easier on the knees. If you've got a 1970s Brady Bunch shag carpet, hard on the knees. Here we go. Feet a little wider again. And just scoot that head under the fence. Hold on. Back up. Everything's cracking now.
Where's that plyometric over there? The guy, huh? <laughs> Lurking on that one. I was trying to see if we could figure that out. Is that push up in the front? Yeah, yeah exactly. Wow, you, you really feel every here and there. You don't, don't you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Up in your traps, everywhere. That's such a great Traps, exercise. lats. Full range of motion. Okay, now, we had our palms facing us before. Flip them back over, and we do a pull up. Just like this, okay? How you feeling, Laura? Good. Good. Steve, how you doing over there? Doing fine. Good. Eric, I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> a little disheartening. Okay, here we go, everybody. Ready? And up. I'm gonna get a chair, and I'm gonna knock out three more of those bad boys. And I wasn't satisfied with that. Oh, that's better. Put that back over here. It's a good modifier. Don't be afraid to do that at home. Okay, back to standard push-up. Now, I haven't used my friendly bars in a while. I'm gonna try these again. I think this is our last set, folks. How's everybody feeling? Good. Now, this is our last set of push-ups. Let's try to go max rep here. Whatever you got in you, drop your knees. Get a few more, okay? Here we go. Everybody up and begin. Here's another thing. Take a break halfway through. I'm gonna stop here, collect myself, and then keep going. Do it again. Nice job, everybody. I love those mini breaks. Oh, those mini breaks are all good. Okay, last set of pull-ups and we're done. Anybody got some gas left in the tank? Yep. Uh-huh. I'm gonna grab my chair and put this over here just in case I need it. I'm looking over my shoulder to see if Eric was gonna do the same thing. He's not. Oh, <laughs> I guilted him into it. <laughs> Way to go. I just couldn't make you feel bad by yourself. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Sympathy for the old guy. Okay, this is a standard pull up. Shoulder width, arms facing out, hands facing out. Everybody ready? Let's give it all we got. Last set, here we go. Good job. Eric went for the chair just like I did. No harm there. Good job. Good job, everybody. How do you feel? Good. Fantastic. Feel great. Everybody get a quick drink here. And what are we going to do then? Pass out. Pass out. <laughs> We're going to cool down. We're going to stretch everything out good. We're going to get our heart rate back down to a place where it should be while we're cooling down. When you're done exercising like this for the first 30 minutes to an hour, that's when your body craves carbohydrates and even proteins. So carbohydrates, it'll turn them so fast back into good things in your body. It's important to do that. Everybody feeling good? Get enough water? Okay, first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna shake our arms out. Oh, oh yeah. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that feels good, doesn't it? Literally, let your hands flop. Okay, let those wrists flop out a little bit. You're not putting a lot of weight or strain in your muscles here, but this is a good way to loosen them up. Oh, almost okay. feels like they're not connected. Yeah, <laughs> no, like they're not, you don't know they're there anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shower, put some shampoo in my hair. Like that. that. That's how that works. Okay, good. Now, just some hugs, okay? Working out that back part up here, like you said, Steve, you felt yep. that, didn't you? Was under the fence? Oh, exactly. yeah. Like, oh, That's why those neck, neck uh, exercises yep. are so important. Loosen your stretches. neck up beginning. Helps that, okay? Now, feet together. Stretch out that chest a little <clears throat> bit. Here we go. Palms up. 
reach that thumb back. Now your muscles are pretty loose here, pretty warm, so you don't have to overstretch them. Just kind of want to work some kinks out. And here's a little tip to this exercise. Just when you're feeling good, point your fingers to the floor like that. Oh, how does that yeah. feel? Good, huh? Especially where you're doing those pull-ups, right up through here. Feels great through your elbows. Yeah, that accentuates the stretch. Deep breaths here, folks. Good way to get your heart rate back down because your body's craving, craving oxygen right now. Very good, okay. Feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Put your left elbow just above your left knee. Take that right arm and just let it hang. Don't hold it, just let it hang. And swing it around, loosen up those shoulders. Work them hard on those push-ups and even those pull-ups. Now, for you folks at home, if you've been doing this workout for a few months on and off, because we rotate things in and out, remember, it's all about max reps. If you got more in you, you bring on the reps. You will never plateau in this workout. It will never be too easy. If you can do 50 push-ups, next time you better try 51. If you can do 30 pull-ups, you better get 31 the next time. That's why this workout's so good. Swing the other arm now. Either direction. Like I said with the chair dips. Start with one chair. Then start with one chair and one foot up. I bet you Eric could do one chair and both feet off the ground, couldn't he? Yep. <laughs> right? Then get a second chair in there. And try it that way. It makes it a little bit deeper, okay? Switch there in another direction. There is no way you cannot be challenged in this workout. Now, all three of us, different ages, different capabilities, doing the same workout. Pretty fantastic, and at the same pace, right? Okay, stand up. We're gonna do some yoga. Stretch the back, right? Feet together, right arm hanging down. Deep breath. Get that left hip out and look up here. This is important. Stretch this one. Really get those lats and those pull up muscles. Man, we're right around 45 minutes of fun. Now, you focus on me, folks. Here, get out a piece of paper and write down how many reps you do at each one of these sets. Keep track of it. Set yourself a goal. Doesn't matter what we're doing, matter what you're doing. That's how you improve. You may start with one or two pull-ups, five push-ups. In a few months, everybody switched sides. I kind of just kept talking when I did that. Everybody, yeah, you guys did. are all I think over. we already switched. <laughs> <Got> Nicely <laughs> done. You, you might be it. able to knock out double the push-ups and the pull-ups in a couple months and say to yourself, where did that come from? I know what it is. I want to be like that Laura lady. That <laughs> 50 year old Wonder Woman. Here Not we go. Yet. Okay, we're going to do the same exercise up here. Put our hands down behind our head and just grab up and gently pull on that tricep, okay? Just pull there. How does that feel? Harder than the first time. Harder than the first time. So good. You can move around while you're doing this if you want to. Go check out the pot the kitchen, see how that's doing. Good. I had pot roast last night. Yes. Oh, so good. Other arm, stretch that out. And we're going to add one more at the end here. We're going to add another shoulder stretch, okay? Work those shoulders good in this routine. Okay, arms down. Left hand out in front, right hand like this. Pull that like this. Oh, that's necessary, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Try to straighten that left arm out. There. Now you go. Good job. Laura, that was impressive. <laughs> Seriously, that was, was an impressive work. You did a great job. Eric, Steve, kudos to you as well, but I expected it. <laughs> Uh, expectations. Yes. Laura came in here and just put us all to shame. I met Laura just now. That's why I had no expectations. <laughs> all right. Other arm down. Out like this. Pull this like this. Excellent. Everybody feeling good and loose? Heart rate back down to where it should be? Guess what? One more deep breath. And we're all done. Oh. Laura, good job. That's fun. Super. Man, nice job, honey. Thank Look you. at you. Fantastic. Steve? Thank you. Great. How are you feeling? Feel good.